The three words that can really describe it is, let me live. We constantly talk about what happened. We constantly talk about there's another person that was murdered by police, another citizen that was murdered by police. We talk about people breaking the law. We talk about if there's going to be a possible, if there's possibly justice for the person that was murdered or if the police are going to be prosecuted. But we never talk about the why. We never talk about the institutionalized systemic racism. We never talk about the economic disparity between the communities in America. My war is not against police. My war is against the system system that enables police, this immunity that police seem to have to feel. Because when you put on that uniform, when you join the blue line, it doesn't make you some sort of, it doesn't thrust you into the upper echelon, echelon uh, heights of society. That doesn't change your nationality. You're still a human. You're still an American. So you should be prosecuted by the same full extent of the law. And if we say we're America and we stand for equality and justice and we are this bastion of hope for the rest of the world, we have to live up to those standards. Hopelessness, fear, and doubt. I fought for this country, but this truly isn't the country that I fought for. When I left to go into the military, I thought I'd come back and I'd be freer. I thought I'd come back and I'd have more opportunity. I thought I'd come back and I'd have the capabilities of doing the things day to day like I had expected when I left. When I came back, the life didn't change. I was still treated unjustly. I'd apply for the job and I'd go in for the interview and I wouldn't get the job because I was the color of my skin. Nothing else had nothing to do with credentials. Why I'm here is to change the narrative and diffuse, educate people on what's actually going on and what people don't see. A lot of times people don't see how the anger is presented because they can't hear you. They can't see you. And without experiencing it, it doesn't exist. Now you've seen it live on TV, a person died. That's the experience that people have been arguing about that they don't want to experience any longer. Fear, racism, hatred. America today uh, is, is hard to say is that dream country that everybody wants to come. Uh, following all these happenings, these killings of the minority, uh, I, I'm not just going to say black people, the minority population, they are suffering, there's, there's a lot of hate language in this country, and I just wonder why it's happening. The police training has to change, and they have to standardize the police training across the country, and uh, they should face the punishment that they deserve when they commit a crime like this. And uh, I don't see why this one is taking so long. This should have been done a long time ago because the cameras have given the evidence that we all need, that every justice system will need.